Hey folks, I just wanted to show you something I found in the dumpster. It looks like a local audio consumer electronics store decided to revamp their store display models and they dumped this one. It looks like it's probably got some older models of what are called House of Marley Bluetooth speakers. Uh, it's a company that makes speakers and Bluetooth speakers, headphones and so on um, using uh, natural or sustainable eco materials they look very nice the model itself is very robust this is actually metal um, and it's featuring a few of their bluetooth speakers now the actual uh, i'll show you how it works i have not opened it up i wanted to do a tear down at some point to try to figure out what's inside of this thing as you can see there are three speakers the chance sport get together and the Chant Mini BT. We've got three demo model, uh, buttons here so you can try it, you speaker out. And then there are some volume up and down buttons here. And um, this is a backlit display. You can see it's a nice light back there. And there you have it. So I'm gonna play some of the music on here. Now I don't know if it's copyright. Uh, I think some of the stuff is gonna flag YouTube copyright flags. So I may end up having to mute some of the audio um, or keep it very short. But I'll just show you one. That's one there. Here's another one. Here's another one. Right? And uh, here, we'll try again. Okay, here. Back one. can switch it also. Anyway, the, each audio sample is about, uh, I guess, 10 to 15 seconds. I think, hopefully, that one that I just played with the, that sounded like, uh, well, whatever that was, um, was hopefully not going to be flagging YouTube. Uh, it sounded like it's kind of a generic song um, with no words and nothing popular. But anyway, the um, those are the three speakers. Now, my intention here is after I do a teardown, so I'm interested to see um, what exactly is driving these speakers. Uh, I'm pretty sure that these are just dummies. They have enclosures and they have speakers, obviously, because you can hear the sound. I don't think that any of this works. I mean, I can feel clicks. You can hear them. Okay, so they're, you know, I don't believe, though, that the actual units, and here, too, there's some buttons uh, on the top, which I can feel I'm pressing. Um, I don't believe that these are actual real speakers, uh, I mean, uh, like the ones that you buy, meaning that I don't believe they contain either any electronics inside or any battery. What, I prob what I'm thinking is going to be in here is just the pure speaker alone, and it's going to be fed out through, see these wires here? Probably just fed straight out to the, um, all the audio and amplifier circuitry is inside here. And, um, and that's basically it. So, you know, the, I mean, that's not necessarily bad because even with these, if they are empty, I may be able to take the innards of the, whatever I find in the display model and put it into this, this enclosure. Cause this sounds the best anyway, this large one, I could put it inside of here and it would be a plug-in speaker. I, I mean, I, if I, uh, it's not going to run off of a battery most likely, cause it looks like it's coming off of, you know, it's using 120 volt probably using an amp or two, but um, I'm thinking if there is anything that I can do to actually get this enclosure to play audio input, I, I may not even have Bluetooth capability, but if I can just plug in audio, then um, I could probably use this enclosure with these very good speakers and tweeters here to play the sound. Um, and that's the same case with this. I, you know, it's got a speaker in it, if I can somehow get uh, an audio input in here, uh, maybe use it as a um, like a soundbar speaker for 
the TV or computer. So let me try it again. Okay, here. Here. Back when. So it's four songs. Those are the four songs that you can hear being played. Again, I don't know what this is, but. Let's have a look at the back of this thing for a second. I'm just going to turn it. It's extremely heavy. This is not wood. This is metal with a kind of a um, wood grain plastic veneer. You can see here where it's been scuffed. Is it that side? Here in the corner. And I think there's another spot here where you can see that it is not metal. Oh, here it is. See? And here we have the label. Um, field evaluation service. Um, this is some kind of electrical safety. And I mean, these are not produced in mass quantities. I mean, this display model here is going to be, um, you know, they're going to maybe make a few thousand. I'm not sure. Oops, I can't focus on this thing. Um, they'll make a few thousand. And. We've got, that's the model number. Maybe try to find out who makes this thing. And uh, the serial number. Capacity, one amp, 120 volt and 60. Okay, goes right in. These screws are there, just Robertson or Flathead, so they're pretty easy to open up. Um, on, on the other side here, we've got Phillips screws there, so they should be fairly easy to, to remove and take off the, this top part. And then we've got hex. I don't know why they use different screws for everything, but there's hex right there. So, you know, nice buttons, illuminated, very good quality stuff. I like this. It's really looking nice. And, uh, you know, it's quite a, a nice built display. I'm not sure what the cost of something like this would be. I mean, certainly speakers from Marley, something like this. Uh, let's see, the lowest end here, that's something around uh, 50, 60 bucks. This one here is going to be 80, 90. And this one here may be like 120, 150, something in that range. Uh, but again, like I said, I don't think these are full. I don't believe there's actual electronics in any of these speakers. Um, they're just the speaker alone and the housing and audio being fed in. Um, so there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video for now. Just wanted to give you a preview and hopefully in the next uh, few weeks I'll have a chance to start tearing this thing apart and we can have a look at what's inside. If you've had experience with something like this before, please let me know. Leave it in the comments. Let me know uh, what you think I can do with this and um, hopefully as well YouTube will not flag any of the audio. I tried to keep the segments as short as possible and only play that one longer electronic song, uh, but hopefully I won't have to edit out the audio. Thanks again for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Bye.